morning you guys starting out this vlog on a tuesday although honestly it may as well still be monday to me it's like 5 a.m i definitely feel like i should not be awake yet but i got really lucky my brace guy was actually able to squeeze me in for an appointment today to get fitted for the new knee brace and the only time that he could fit me in was at 10 o'clock this morning since he is a few hours away from me and it is rush hour we have to leave pretty darn early i am definitely not a morning person so i wasn't super thrilled about the time but beggars cannot be choosers like i say don't fret we will take what we can get so here it is 5 a.m and i am getting ready pro tip if you ever have to be anywhere super early in the morning and you're not a morning person put on what you're going to wear for the day the night before and then you can just roll out of bed and go that's what i did today is going to be an extremely long day we have to drive down there i have the knee brace fitting at 10 then at two o'clock i think i have physical therapy and i think she double booked sessions for me so i think i have two sessions of physical therapy in rhode island and then we have to drive home so <sighs> i just feel so fortunate though that he's going to be able to get me in especially at the beginning of the week that means that there is hope that i will have a brace by the end of the week when we leave for camp and i will be able to walk around and it's gonna be amazing <sighs> anyway i have to keep getting ready <laughs> I'll check in with you guys later. Okay guys, a miracle has just occurred. We just got out of my orthotist's office. He's the guy who makes my braces. He just happened to have the exact knee brace that I needed in stock in my size. I'm so thrilled that we don't have to come back to pick anything up and I can start using it today. Oh my gosh, I just feel so lucky right now. Now we're kind of stuck in Rhode Island for the next like four hours. It's only 10.30 and my PT appointment isn't until 2. So we haven't decided if we want to like get out and go walk around or if we're going to like park somewhere and nap in the car. <laughs> I am surrounded by organizers. Kind of want to buy one of these for my feeding pump. Something tells me my physical therapist would be crazy about these chairs. <laughs> you mean the ergo ergo seat? The ergo seat. Oh my god. I just want to buy all the jars. I don't even have anything to put in them, but I just want jars. I'm pretty sure I've taken this antibiotic before. My new brace was physical therapist approved. She absolutely loved it. She thought it was the perfect thing for me. We were even able to change the angle settings for different exercises to give me some feedback and help me to keep my form in check. But now I'm literally just gonna go to sleep. Like, I am just so done with this day. I'm so, so, so thankful for this awesome brace and for my awesome physical therapist. And now my awesome bed. Oh, and for sleeping, I'm supposed to lock the brace straight. Let's see if I can do this. I haven't done this yet. Okay, so you said on the side, there's just these little yellow levers that you have to lock in place. Let's see. One, two. Oh, yep, I am locked in. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. Maybe I will actually catch some rest this time. <laughs> Guys, I just napped so hard I literally just went from the car to bed makeup still on jewelry still on it looks like i managed to get my ring splints off before i went to sleep otherwise they're somewhere in this bed uh, i got like my bag like on top of me in bed oh you can see i'm trying out one of the lockets as a keychain and so far so good anyway that was probably some of the best sleep i have gotten in like months the knee race is a total success it totally locked my leg i had no bending 
I mean, previously I was waking up every 15, 20 minutes when I would like move or roll over and my knee would go out. So I just slept like so deeply. I woke up, I had no idea where I was, what day it was, what the heck was going on. I don't know if I talked a whole lot about it earlier, but the greatest thing about this is that it basically doesn't kick in until I hit my limits. So right now we are just starting me out at a 90 degree limit for flexion. So when I bend my leg, I can only bend it to 90 degrees. See, I can't bend any farther back than that. And then we also have it set to 10 degrees extension. So I can't quite fully extend my knee, but close. This will hopefully help me not to hyperextend and lock my knee when I'm walking, which is one of the ways that I usually mess it up. But the great thing is when I haven't hit those limits, this brace is not doing anything. It's just there, which is a really great thing because that means that I am still fully using those muscles, that I am not going to jeopardize any of my muscle strength by wearing this brace. And of course at night I can lock it so that I can't bend it all. This isn't quite what this brace was made for. This brace was made more for people who had just had surgery and their doctors want to limit their movement. But for our purposes, it's working out great. Hello guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Do I look paler than usual? I don't understand how I could possibly have gotten paler. The fatigue is real. This morning was one of those mornings that I just like could not wake up and I am not usually that person. I am not a snooze button kind of girl. I don't care if I only got like two hours of sleep, like once my alarm goes off, I'm getting up. But this morning, I physically could not open my eyes and I was like going through my morning routine in my head like I was doing it, but I couldn't even move. I was just so exhausted. And I think honestly, partially, it's just because I've been running off of pure adrenaline for so long. And last night, because I have this new brace, I got actual sleep. And now I'm just kind of like crashing. <laughs> but I just realized we are like leaving on Friday and I have physical therapy all day tomorrow. So I have to pack today. I'm waiting on some important like medical deliveries. And hopefully those come today. If not, I don't like leaving it to the last second. I don't know if I've really talked about this too much before, but it's like, I don't know if it's like once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, I don't know. I get shipments of all of the supplies I need to run my feeds, all of the formulas, like the bags, and also all of the IV supplies. So the saline, the tubing, the dressings, the needles, all that stuff. So sometimes when you're going away on vacation, you have to schedule the deliveries a little bit earlier, have extra things delivered. It just gets kind of stressful when it gets down to the last minute. I like to know that I have absolutely everything I'm going to need and more just in case, like a couple days before, but they can't always work on your schedule and I get it. Okay guys, so look what just got delivered. This is hopefully going to be my new feeding pump. I was having major issues with my shoulders, especially because I've been having to carry my feeding pump bag on one shoulder so that it didn't hit my port. And I got to the point where my shoulder was not even staying in joint. We were having a hard time getting it back in. It was all bruised. So I contacted the company to see if there was any options and they had this which is so much smaller than this old one. Look at that. And it's so much lighter. I can't even believe it. They sent me like the pump and the backpack for it in the box to like return the old pump and all the instructions plus the IV pole clamp and the charger, but they didn't send me any feeding bags for this. So it's kind of useless to me right now. I can't try it out or use it. I'm gonna have to call them and make sure that I get some of the feeding bags before we leave on Friday. <sighs> so that's frustrating. I was just really hoping to use this and try this out tonight, but I guess it's not gonna happen. Also, look who just got her wisdom teeth out. All four in one day. Oh, you wanna see them? What a champ, nope. No, I want 
Ugh, gross. She brought them home. That's so nasty. I'm not zooming in on that. Ew. I'm not super squeamish, but I do not want to look at your gross, bloody teeth. Hello, you guys. I am about to leave. We are switching it up. We are doing some PT on a Thursday this week. Wild, I know. We are leaving tomorrow to go to camp, and so is my physical therapist. So this week we're doing Thursday instead of Friday. Guess who was dumb enough to accidentally forget to unclamp her saline last night? So I didn't actually end up finishing the bag of saline. So I'm gonna have to take it with me in the car. This should work, right? I should be able to just hang this in the car. Okay guys, I made it work. Honestly, sometimes I feel just like so super claustrophobic. Yeah, I have like the neck and back brace, and then I have the SI belt, and then I have the knee brace, and I'm hooked up to the feeding pump back, and I'm hooked up to that saline, and I just, ugh. Every move I make, I have to like calculate. Oh, it's just such a constricting feeling. This setup is just getting more and more janky. But hey, it's working! PT was super awesome today. Maybe I should start doing my IV fluids on the way there, like all the time. I felt like I had so much more energy when it came to doing my exercises today. Now I have about two hours in the car with time to kill. So I think I'm gonna take this hair wrap out of my hair. It was fun, you know, but now it's just really getting in my way and I wanna get it out of the way before I go to camp. Say goodbye. I think I underestimated how long my hair was because this thing is ridiculously long. It's so impractical. It needs to go. Got my little pocket knife scissors. My bags have arrived. They to try out my new feeding pump. It's so lame that I'm so excited about this. This bag that they gave me to hold the pump is so useless. Like, first of all, it only has one strap, so it's not even a backpack. And second of all, we can't seem to find a hole for the tubing to come out of. Never mind the fact that it doesn't really properly hold the pump or anything. It's pretty clear that this bag was not made for this specific pump. There's nothing in the paperwork or online about this specific bag. They all show diagrams of a different backpack that was specifically made for this pump. So I'm getting pretty frustrated with this at this point because I have so many other things to do and pack that I feel like this is just such a waste of my time and I really want to make this work. Okay guys, I have the best dad in the whole world. He is helping me to turn my regular Customize. backpack <laughs> into a pump backpack so that I don't have to carry around this horrible thing. <laughs> He's just sewing a little carabiner into the top of the bag. And there's actually a pocket that the pump itself fits in pretty well. So the hope is that not only will this be able to function as a pump backpack, but I'll still be able to carry around other things in it as well. And then I'm over here doing some neck brace surgery. <laughs> I've broken this thing in like a million different ways. So at this point, it's held together by binder clips and I just keep adding on pieces of Velcro where the Velcro wears away. All fixed. Ah, okay, so I'm just trying to get all of my stuff packed up so that we'll be able to leave tomorrow. Not quite
quite sure if I really talked about this yet, but I am spending a day at a physical therapy camp for kids. My physical therapist works there and she invited me to come as a volunteer and of course I said yes. So I am super excited for that and then we are going to spend the rest of the week in the Adirondack Mountains at a family camp that we've been going to since I was a kid. It just occurred to me that I am having a nurse come in the morning to change out my port needle so that I will be accessed for the week. That means I won't have my usual few days to get a really good shower in and really wash my hair. So what I think I'm going to do is de-access tonight and skip the saline tonight. Since they're accessing me again tomorrow, I could do it tomorrow night instead. But that just adds another thing that I have to do tonight, take a shower. Which doesn't sound like much, but when you have a chronic illness, taking a shower can be very, very exhausting. Especially if you have POTS. Just the heat of the shower and like raising your arms up to wash your hair can easily send your heart rate pretty high. Hi guys, it is Friday. I am all packed up. My port has been accessed. We are ready to head out. And I just thought I would update on what my first night with my new pump was like. I love this pump. Not only is this like literally two pounds lighter than the other one and way smaller, but the bags that come with it are like a bit more high tech. So there's like this little valve on here that you push on and it like helps to uh, remove all of the air from the bag but that way if the bag gets turned on its side or moves around you don't get any air in the line and you don't get any alarming my old pump needed to be perfectly upright all the time if it slumped over it would fill with air and it would beep and it was so annoying this one i can just like literally throw it in my bag and just it works it's amazing Plus, the bags are a little bit bigger, so I can fit five boxes of formula in it instead of four at a time, so I don't have to like keep refilling it throughout the day. Oh, and it is so much quieter. The Joey pump that I used to have sounded like a printer or something. So <laughs> it was just really loud, and everyone was always like, wait, do you hear that? I'm like, yeah, no, that's me. We made it to Connecticut and we found where we are going to be coming tomorrow for the physical therapy camp. We got to meet a lot of the people running it as well as a lot of the campers and the families so that was really nice. And I'm not quite sure if I'm allowed to vlog any of it because of patient privacy and obviously, you know, we're working with kids. But it is so beautiful up here and they even have horses. They have a therapeutic riding center and I have always wanted to see that in action. So I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, we've checked into our hotel now and our room is freezing, which is great because that's how I like it. They had the thermostat set to 54 degrees. Oh. <laughs> I think my mom is not quite as happy as I am. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna get comfy, maybe get a head start on some editing, and then try to get to sleep because I have to get up at 6.30 tomorrow to go back to camp. Leave it to me to be like super excited about a physical therapy camp. But you guys know how much I like PT and my physical therapist is there. She said that I can start using her name, so my physical therapist's name is Trish. And it's kind of cool to like hang out with her outside of uh, therapy. Yeah, so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I can. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. We are on our way to camp. I am supremely cranky because it is the morning and we are running late. And those are two of my least favorite things in the whole world. <laughs> now I just gotta get my head and my heart back in the right space. Hey guys, we are just leaving the lake now. I got a little bit of color. Oops, look, I got some lovely ring splint tan lines. It is just so beautiful here. I don't know if you can see. It's like a little getaway. This whole experience has just been absolutely amazing. And seeing all of the kids and 
their families in the water today it was really really special I am so happy to be here and now we are heading back for a barbecue and a talent show night so that should be pretty exciting your child is different or special or ill but you have learned their worlds not a need unfulfilled you do your best from morning till night your whole life has changed but somehow that's all right Hey guys, we made it back to the hotel. I am absolutely exhausted. Today was honestly one of the best days I can remember. Sunburn today, this is what you would call a crafter's sunburn. Look, you can see where my ring splints were. I was working at the crafts table, but I did get, but I did ask and I got permission to talk a little bit more about camp, which is awesome. So this camp that I was a part of this weekend is called Camp Care. And they are a small, kind of faith-based, three-day physical therapy camp. They do it once in the summer, and then they do another three days in the winter time. So sorry if you missed out on this summer program this year. It sounds like the winter one is really fun too. The camp itself is run through a physical therapy organization called Crossroads Physical Therapy here in Columbia, Connecticut. I think it's about 45 minutes outside of Hartford. And if any of you guys are in the area and looking for a physical therapist, this is the place to go. This place is absolutely incredible. They don't just treat EDS patients, they treat so many different kinds of patients. I found out about this camp and this place through my therapist Trish who I mentioned has been here with me she has absolutely raved about them so I just had to check it out for myself and she was so right but they really really focus on the philosophy of treating the whole body instead of just like one area or one joint honestly I feel like they even go above and beyond that at this facility and they treat the patient as a body and as a mind and as a soul they are truly passionate and full of joy and just love what they're doing they really have a heart and spirit for this and have had a huge success with so many patients who are basically given up on by other therapists so i do recommend you check them out especially if you are in the area and if you are a physical therapist or you wish to become a physical therapist they do offer training through their trinity seminars program so i will link you guys the website to the camp website to the physical therapy website and also to the trinity seminars website they don't just offer like manual physical therapy either they have equestrian therapy they have horses they have a whole crossfit gym they have karate they have nutritional experts they have a naturopath uh, they have yoga they have aerial yoga i mean they have everything up here so definitely check it out i am thoroughly impressed and thoroughly exhausted and very very happy and now I'm going to sleep because tomorrow we head out to New York. Hi guys, it is Sunday. It is time to say goodbye to Connecticut and goodbye to you guys. And hello to New York and the start of a new week. If you like this video, it would be awesome if you would give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, probably later today. <laughs> goodbye.